People call it the Rose Nebula, but the real name is the Rosette Nebula. An enormous bloom of gas and dust about 5,000 light years away in Monoceros. Let's start with a myth. The rose was once said to be an omen, an open wound in the sky, sailors, kings. Sounds dramatic. But there's no record of ancient cultures recognizing this flower. It's too faint for the naked eye. It was invisible to us for most of human history. Another myth. Early astronomers thought it was a hole in the Milky Way. Not this one. That confusion happened with dark patches like the coal sack. The rosette glows from ionized hydrogen, H-alpha light. Our eyes barely see it, but cameras love it. Boost the red, and the petals pop. So what's the real story? Why does it look like a rose? At the center sits NGC 2244, a cluster of hot young massive stars. Radiation, stellar winds. They act like leaf blowers, clearing a cavity sculpting the cloud into petal-like arcs. The dark veins are cold dust blocking starlight. Here's the twist. The rosette is a stellar nursery. Shock fronts, ripples of pressure from those stars, compress gas pockets along the rim, triggering new star birth. Beauty outside, violence inside. The atoms lighting the rosette were forged in ancient supernova. Dead stars that seeded the cloud with heavier elements. Every petal is stained with stellar death. No curse, just physics. There's a human angle. For decades our equipment misjudged the rosette. Films skewed its colors, sensors skewed its colors, making it look like a blood-red rose. Instruments wrote a myth our eyes couldn't. Fact check, rapid fire. About 130 light years across, roughly 50 light years cavity, ionized by O-type stars.